Alright, what's up guys? Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Leaf and I got some new mail. Let's check it out. Four new mails. Oh my goodness. We're going... It's raining here again. It's like... Always... It's always raining when I play. Maybe not always. Look... Oh wow, I just, I just realized I clicked on my encyclopedia. I collected a lot of insects. Not most, obviously. Uh, what is this? I collected, uh... <laughs> I guess this is what you get from diving. Collected one thing, and then here are a few fish. Again, not all. But, um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was reading my mail. Going to read my mail. I like to send mail off every, uh, every time from Rod. Read. Hey, buddy, s sending me a present like that? Is that a challenge? This letter to you better come with a gift. Uh, <laughs> I hate when stuff gets lost in the mail. This present packs a punch from Rod the Champ. He's really into sports. Let's see what his present is. Open it up. It's a lemon. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think I got lemons from the island from Apollo. Read. To Zach, thanks for taking the time to write me a letter. Your feelings towards me honestly made me happy. <laughs> Aren't letters just the best? I hope you'll continue being my pal. So he did not notice that I resent him the original lamp. From Cat? Uh-oh. What's up, Zach? I'm full of energy after that awesome letter you sent me. Worrying about what you're writing slows you down. You just gotta power through it. Thanks a lot for reading this. See ya, cat. Well, thank you for... Was she sending that on cow paper? What is that? It's like... <laughs> looks like a paper made of cow skin. Um, from Bo. For Zach, your letter was better than cheese and celery sticks. I really liked the stationery for your last letter. And did you detect a hint of ketchup? Uh, did I detect a hint of ketchup? I can't wait for your reply, your pal, Bo, the sex offender. Uh, Bo, gonna toss this. Don't want to be caught with that. Uh, where? Toss the Apollo one. Toss the rod. Toss the Eugene. Oh, keep the cats. Still don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, oh. Alright, there we go, Dad. Trying to contact me like that. How rude. What is this? A lantern. Oh yeah, I tried to give that away. I'll go ahead and hold on to it for now. No need to, uh, you know, to, to whatever. Pull it up. A fossil. Who knew it would be a fossil? I did. I didn't know, actually. <laughs> I, uh, this is a guess. It was a lucky guess. Now, I have a lot of fruit that I brought back from the tropical island. I'm not sure exactly. Now, it's raining here. There better not be any dead flowers. No. <laughs> no, um... Uh, well, why is it always raining here? That's what bothers me. It's so gloomy in this town. All right, let's, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, yeah, so the new thing in today's town is that my permit finally came through to do town development, so I'm gonna go check it out up here. I, I do kinda wanna search for fossils as well. Uh, I was hoping maybe I'd stumble upon a few more uh, immediately. There's one, or the, it's always hard to tell if it's gonna be a, oh, it's another, a mega tympanoid. Wow. So I guess those things kind of happen when it rains sometimes. I don't mind digging them up. I have them in my house. Ultimately, I would love to... Hey, what's up, Rod? How's it... Oh, just dug a hole next to Rod. Okay, Rod, what is up? Hey, Zach. Man, I love rugby in the rain. Love it, Ace. What can I help you with? Want to chat? Okay, Zach. I need your help. I like to try uh, munching a nice fresh peach. Uh, I've always wanted to try one. They're not native to this town, but why don't you go try to find one for me, please? I'll give it a shot. I don't know if I have any peaches. Uh, in fact, I don't think I do. <laughs> I always agree to do stuff, though. Whether I follow through or not, I just always like, yeah, I'll, I'll go do that. Who cares? <laughs> Maybe. But, uh, you know, what I should do, I should, I'm going to go ahead and circle the town really quick. Well, no, I'm not. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of, of a good plan. Uh, I try to play this game as logically as possible. Like, I don't want to go up north if I don't need to go up north yet. I don't want to backtrack because I definitely am going back to the town hall to do the planning stuff. So let's just go do that now. Get that out of the way. Hopefully you guys like my 3D glasses. Um, it's kind of cool wearing 3D glasses in a 3D game. Am I right? Um, let's go to the town hall. <laughs> We will, uh, we will play this, and, um, we will do whatever. I'll go sit at my desk like she wants me to. 
do some secretary role play here or whatever. Uh oh, Mayor Zack, I've been waiting for you. You're finally ready to start work on improving Astoria. As mayor, you have two primary ways to influence the growth of Astoria. The first is ordinances. By enacting ordinance ordinances, you can change the way Astoria is run. Of course, you can't just enact any old ordinance you feel like enacting. That would make you a dictator. Instead, you're able to choose an ordinance out of the list provided to you. Try to choose ordinances that match up with the lifestyles and needs of Astoria's residents. The second way to exercise your ma mayoral power is by starting public works projects. Public works projects and add buildings and features to Astoria. I've already taken the liberty of putting together a list of requests from the town citizens. If there's a request that really speaks to you, please select it to begin development. That's all I have for you right now, but when you decide to start on either of those, I'll explain further. When when you like to work on official mayoral business, just sit in that chair and I'll help you out. Well, that was what I was doing. That's that's the whole point of me sitting here. Try again. Hi, Mayor Zach. Is there something I can help you with? Let's look at uh, public works projects first. Oh, public works projects are exciting. Allow me to explain the fascinating process. First, choose a project you'd like to work on from the list of requests citizens have made. Once you've chosen a project, we'll go search for a place to build it. Once we've found a spot for it, we'll need to raise the construction funds by asking for donations. Then, after we've collected enough donations to fully fund the project, the structure will be built. Please keep in mind that we only have the resources to work on one public works project at a time. Fair enough. Well then, let's dive right in. Here are the curtain requests from the townspeople. Oh my god. Reset center, what is that? Oh, whoa. Okay, um... Well, let's see what this is. What is a co what is the cobblestone bridge? Oh, one of those. Whoa, those are expensive. Do I have to pay for those myself? Yellow bench. Maybe I can pull off. I can't pull off any of these. All right. Well, maybe uh, maybe we'll just deal with this later. Man, that's more expensive. Okay. Oh my gosh. The fire hydrant. A uh, fire hydrant is cheaper than a sign. Really? I mean, you know, you gotta lay the water lines for that a campsite. What does that do? Fence. Campsite. Okay, quit. I don't have enough money to build any of those. All right, let's see. Let's see what I can do with ordinances. All right. At present, there are no ordinances in effect in Astoria. To enact an ordinance, a oh my gosh, I don't have that money. Okay. On second thought, I don't have that money. So obviously, a big um, maybe later a a big uh. You know, showstopper here is the fact that I do not have a, uh, I do not have enough money to uh, really, really, you know, I, I, you would think I, as mayor I would be able to just tax the citizens and take that money to use, but no, I got to fund it myself by doing crazy things that no mayor would ever actually do, like planting trees and harvesting their fruits, picking shells off the, <laughs> the sand. Um, okay, so. I need to figure. I, I need to figure out what to do. Um, I know I still have a bunch of um, fruits and stuff here in the items pickup box. I have uh, fruits, flowers, a pirate. Oh yeah, the pirate hat. I remember I got this. How do I? There we go. I could use my touch screen. I have tons of flowers. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all these flowers, but I have them. Um, lemons, lychees, durians, bananas, lemons. So many flowers, so ridiculous uh, mangoes. I need to, okay, I don't remember off the top of my head where the trees go. So maybe after this video, I'll look it up and then I will, um, well, you know, I will, can I sell flowers? I'll look it up and then what I'll do is I will, uh, I'll, I'll plant them later. There we go, that's probably enough. I'm just bringing flowers with me. Don't mind me one bit. And now I gotta go, um, I, I gotta finish, I gotta go back up north a little bit. Now if I put a bridge, I'm probably gonna wanna put a bridge like right here or something, you know, like right in front of Apollo's house. That would maybe be ideal. Then I don't have to walk all the way around just to get to my house. Which, uh, you know, oh, there we go, there's another one. Let's dig this up. Oh, it's another one of these guys. A mini tympanoid. Now let me uh let me go let me go in my house really quick. 
And, oh, I ran. Scared off that fish. Let me go to my house super quick. I'm going to go uh, check out to see how my other things are doing and lay them down and compare them. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh, yeah, I forgot my floors and stuff got updated. I think it looks really good. Now let's uh, let's display a place in room. Nope, not the fishing rod. Wrong thing. Oh, my God. Okay, I know. Uh, okay, I made the mistake of throwing down my couch. Display. There we go. Oh, my God. It's facing the wrong way now. Right, let me pick up my fishing rod. Can I just move this? Nope, wrong button. Here we go. Nice. Back to where things belong. All right, now, without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and display the right thing. A mega tympanoid. Oh my god, that is big. And then this is the mini tympanoid. Look at that. I got some percussion in here. <laughs> and you, you can also hear the ticking of my clock. All right, let's um, let's go forward. We need to. Uh, I only got one fossil to really take care of. Feel like uh, I feel like I'm kind of stuck. Like I. Whoa! Who is this with the umbrella? Apollo! Ah! I wish this rain would end soon. I envy you running around in this mess like you just don't care, Zach. Ah, so you wanted to talk to me? Let's chat. Are you one of those types who doesn't care about ordinances? Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I want you to pull any particular ordinance into effect or anything. You can almost say this town works pretty well without any. Anyway, whichever way you decide, I'll back you up. Nice. He's got my back. Let's do the uh, no sex offenders live in this town ordinance. <laughs> and uh, that would be good. Get rid of Bo. I think he's got eyes for cat. This looks like a pretty decent sized fish that I do want to catch. One, two, three. Come on, fish. Oh, there we go, just in time. Almost let this one get away. Ooh, caught a black bass. I've got some class. Now, I wonder if Amelia is still looking for it. Hey, who's this? You're blending in with the grass perfectly. Oh, it's Bo. So the sun is taking the day off, Salt Lake. Stop calling me Salt Lake. That's cool. Chilling is important. Actually, it's probably the most important thing in the world. So what can I do for you? Let's chat. Say, what do you think of my outfit, Zach? I don't even... Aw, oh, man. But I worked super hard putting this outfit together, Salt Lake. That's it. If you don't know what to think of this outfit, my next outfit is totally going to blow your mind. Oh, my God. You know, maybe I should give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's not a sex offender, and I should start treating him nicely. Who's this? Oh, good morning, Zach. Don't you find rainy mornings refreshing, Ace? So, what can I do for you? What's the latest? I've been coming up with my own rules to live by, you know, as part of my self-improvement plan. But if a new town ordinance went into effect, I'd be sure to follow it. You don't have to worry about me. All right. So, we, so, so far, I haven't talked to any subversives when I, uh start enacting my my crazy ordinances um who lives here i always forget who lives here okay that's okay that's her i just ran into her in fact there's apollo up there with all of his sports and stuffs whoa ho ho what's this gonna be oh an axe oh come on okay I, okay obviously when i don't face a particular way all right, another fossil. Can't wait to take this to Blather, see what he has to say about my two new fossils. I can probably wait, to be honest. So many, um... I, see, I've, I got a lot of pears. Just, come on. All right, lots of people living here. Let's both, man, this place is getting crowded. Oh, there we go again. This might be a pitfall. Nope, it's a a tall perculoid. Oh, uh, you can too. You're gonna swap it with some flowers, cause who needs all these flowers anyway? Uh, how about something plain like this yellow yellow cosmos plant? Ta-da! Making this place more beautiful. 
I stole all this stuff from the island. I hope I don't bring back any sort of like crazy. Uh, oh, another fossil! My goodness! All right, gonna plant another flower. Yes, yeah, swap it. And uh, let's plant this red one, the red cosmos. Nice. <laughs> Sounded like the ground was quite muddy. Oh, what is this? Oh no, no, not this guy again. This guy is a guy who tries to rip me off with paintings. I gotta pull up a list of the paintings or something. That's what I gotta do. All right. Oh man, and I don't think I have enough money for this stuff. Oh ho, welcome to my gallery. Come in and see some art. Oh boy, cousin, when was the last time you were here? Well, I'm rather pleased to see you back again. I'll tell you, this week's items are rare as they come. I'm almost green with envy that I can't buy them all. But remember, we sell only one item per customer, so make your choice very carefully. Oh, man. See, I gotta get familiar with this artwork and try to figure out which one's legit. Oh, man. Maybe I'll do this. Okay, I gotta. Obviously, what has to happen is I'm gonna have to do some research before the next episode. You know, I usually film about two to three episodes per day. I know, I know. Thanks, cuz. Yeah, you're welcome. This guy tries to rip me off. I gotta do research to protect myself. Because if I just go in there and buy it... Uh, yeah. So this episode will be mostly me gathering stuff and taking them... You know, the my, same old, same old. <laughs> and the next episode, things are gonna get crazy. I'm gonna figure out where to plant things. What was this? I can't see it. Another fossil! Alright. Yeah, swap. Swap it with what? Swap it with another flower that you can plant. Uh, oh, you know what? Okay, wait. Uh, where's, okay, plant. So I guess I'm not going to be selling flowers today. <laughs> I've just been planting them. I forgot all about my pir pirate hat. I worked so hard to get this and the mermaid lamp. But now I got our matey. I'm a pirate from the 80s with 3D glasses on. R matey, R matey, R matey, R. Oh, another one of these? What in the world? Oh, I hate these so much. A pitfall seed. Uh, sh sure, swap it. Let's see what I can swap it with. Oh, one more flower. There we go. I am really beautifying this place. My goodness. All right. So I know I want to sell that. Let's go ahead and get this. I, I got oranges too that I probably want to sell. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Let's go north. Oh man, this is uh, uh every video kind of goes like this. I kind of go around, do my thing in the in the town, and then go up north. Oh, he he's wearing a jacket. That's cool. Never going over there though. Alrighty, Blathers. Let's see if you like what I happen to bring. I also brought a black bass. So hopefully you like that as well. Who? Who? Oh dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Astoria Museum. Hmm, who? How may I be of service? Assess a fossil. More like four fossils. Uh, yeah, four indeed. Oh my gosh, I got four fossils confirmed. Here we go. Hopefully, you don't have any of these. Oh, who? More than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. Ooh, I do believe I found something that's not yet part of our museum's collection. It's really most stunning. I believe you have a natural talent for fossils. I'm rather jealous. I hope I can perhaps convince you to assist with Astoria's cultural education. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. Do you think about donating, though? I will. I'll definitely think about donating. May I offer any further assistance? Make a donation. Yes, come on. You know I would. Oh, only two. Well, that's good. That means I can sell the rest. All right, several things. Let's take a look. Yes, we will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, there's no need for you to put... Th okay, I know. I've read this so many times. You guys know what he says. So let's... Uh, uh no. No, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to say nothing. Okay, yep. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> you got me with your museum humor. Of me making a mistake and you making fun of me for it. That's okay, Blathers. Let's, uh... Yep, 
I'm going to go down here and sell my stuff. The stuff that I have right now. And then, um... I forgot to get this. I should have... Well, I didn't know which fossils I would... Oh, new bulletin. Closing for expansion. Due to our store's expansion and necessary... Oh, June 19th. That's... Okay, that's tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. I gotta buy up. Well, he's expanding because I bought some stuff from him. Excellent. So, but tomorrow... That means I, I gotta get today's fortune cookie. Yeah. And then tomorrow, I guess we'll just be without him. That's okay. Oh, hello there. Welcome. It's Amelia. Do you still need this black bass? You know that old saying, you get what you pay for. Well, it's not always true in this shop. That's because anyone can list an item for sale and they can choose whatever price they want. You can find some good bar bargains, but remember the old saying, buyer beware. Is she Can she talk right now? Do you ever feel overwhelmed by a selection like this, Zach? Me either. Bring on the bargains. Yeah, she has, some. She has no interest in, you know. Okay. Yes, can I help you? I want to sell. I do. Well, I brought in, like, two fossils. Uh, a flower. Um, maybe a lemon, because I already have one. Uh, there we go. One of these seeds. Confirm. How much is all this worth? 9,000. Yes. Deal. That is a good deal. All right. Now, I have a little wiggle room. Thank you. Come again. Let me go buy today's fortune cookie and see what N Nintendo based prize I get. And then um And then that's that. Oh, you know, I need to talk to, like, everyone first. Let's get the Able Sister chat out of the way. Always talk to the sister in the back. I always forget her name because she's not noteworthy yet. <laughs> um, hello, welcome to the Handmade Fashion Palace of the one and only Able Sisters. Any cool patterns that I would like? Not that I know of, but let's talk to her. Who's this, Sable? Yes. Oh, Zach, you're looking well. How nice. It's very sweet of you to always make a point of stopping by. I feel awful that I never even have the time to make you a cup of tea. I really wish we had one more set of claws around. Then I could take the time to sit and chat with you. <laughs> oh, now, sis, there you go again, focusing on what we don't have. How could you complain now that La Label is back with us? Don't you remember the three of us sisters promised to work hard together from here on out? Sable... Oh, Tee, you're right, Mabel. My apologies. Either way, Zach, even though we don't have much to offer, please feel free to stop by when you can. Who is Label? This is Mabel, right? This is Mabel. Yes, what would you like to do? I would like to do nothing. For the rest of my life. Uh, alright. Let's go all the way over here. Well, hello. Is this, is this Label? La LaBelle. <laughs> we offer all our products at very affordable prices. Oh my gosh. The mustache will make me the most awesome pirate ever. I don't think you understand. I have to have the mustache. The curly mustache. Oh, 160. That is so worth it. I'll take it. Thanks. Yes, I received the 160 bells. And you know what? I have received a new awesome. Oh, well, I can't wear my glasses also. Okay, maybe I'll just walk around with this for a while. I look pretty fancy. Let's see, uh, maybe maybe this will be good enough for now. Maybe I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll alternate. Days that I feel like I need to see the world in 3D, I'll wear my 3D glasses. Other days, uh, I'll just <laughs> I'll wear my mustache and pirate hat. I don't know. I wish I could wear both. I mean, how? why do they conflict? That's okay. Let's not overthink it. All right, he's got some more stuff. Now, obviously, I need this for whatever reason. Cedar sapling. 60 bells. Good deal. Yes, please. All right. And what is this? Happy red lily bag. Yep, 80 bells. Yep, going to buy it. All right. And then this other thing. I, I just buy stuff so this guy expands. It's kind of like when I used to go to Quiznos all the time, more than once a week. I was just like, man... I like Quiznos so much, I don't want them to go out of business. But it wasn't enough. They went out of business. And, uh... 
Uh, okay, come again. And that's just how life works sometimes. All right, now I can finally go to Nookling Junction. It'll be closed tomorrow, but for now it is open. And um, yeah, here we go. All right, same old stuff. I'm not gonna buy anything ama totally amazing. Pre-modeling store closing sale. Oh, you don't know yet what that means, do you? I apologize for how sudden this is, but we're closing our shop on June 19th, that's tomorrow. After that, we'll be closed while we remodel the store. I apologize for the inconvenience. We ask for your understanding as we become an even better store, the best. All right, well. All I know is I want this, this fortune cookie. I don't exercise just so, just for the health benefits. I exercise for the Nintendo items here in this game. All right. So rare. Okay, well, guess what? I'm gonna eat it right in front of you. There we go. There was a fortune inside. Let's see. When all else fails, never forget to show them your moves. Number 34. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. Uh, what is up? We're having a store closing sale today, so we apologize if any items are sold out. Yeah, I know, I know. Lucky ticket. Number 34. Don't forget to show me your moves. Confirm. One of these days I'm going to cash in a ticket that I've already cashed in before. Number 34. Ah, congratulations! The prize for number 34 is a blue falcon. Now, see, I think I have that. I think I have that. Um, please try again. Oh, do. Okay. Well, now, I'm, I gotta run back to my house and see if I have two blue falcons. Because if I do, what I'm gonna do with them? I don't even know. Still raining. Maybe later today it won't be raining. It's a big maybe. Oh, and I got, okay, so before the next episode, I'm going to do some research on the paintings. I'm going to do some research on where to plant specific trees. And then uh, uh, all, the very next thing I'm going to do, uh, what else? I think that's about it. <laughs> I don't know. I think that'll be exciting enough for tomorrow's episode. I'll also write some cool letters. I know you guys like it when I write letters and send them in to people. So uh, I'll have to do that. Am I right? I'm right. All right. Now let's see. I got a blue falcon. Let's display it. My house is getting so small, I need to expand already. Is it display the blue falcon? What? Blue falcon, right now. Holy moly, that's big. Wow. And then I think I also have a blue falcon here. Got the SS Dolphin as well. Space station. So much stuff. Blue falcon. Yep, I have two blue falcons. That's cool, I suppose. Whoa, wait a second, what was it doing? Hold on. Let me display that really quick. And then tap it again. Holy moly, that is awesome. All right, well, when I get a bigger house, oh, come on. Okay, check it out, check it out. This will, this will be worth it. And then this one, oh, that's my robo table. That's my lantern. Well, what happened? Did I leave my other one in the drawer? Please say I did. SS Dolphin. Space Station. Blue Falcon, there we go. Sorry, I thought, I thought maybe I lost it somehow. Here we go. This is the ultimate, guys. I always forget what these are. I got two Blue Falcons. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I can't keep them out. Let's go ahead and uh, stash them away. Guys, I'll do my research before next episode. Um, I really don't like this robot stuff as much. I'm, I'm like collecting because I started, you know, it's like one of those things I started collecting the robot stuff and I'm like, oh yeah, I really like it. But then now it's just like, oh, well, you know, it doesn't look that good. I just like, 
sci-fi type stuff. Anyway, put away my little bros hat, my 3D glasses. I'm going to be a pirate for a little while. Go ahead and go over here, put down my seed packages, and that. Oh, I got another one. Oh, yeah, tall perculoid robo table. I'm going to want to display that right now. All right, let me go ahead and just display my robo table. And then, um... Nice. Now, do I have that one? I don't think I do. Gosh. This place is so cluttered. <laughs> um, okay. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching me play Animal Crossing New Leaf. Come back next time. I will do my research. I will figure out what needs to be done. I need to get rid of this lantern. See you guys next time. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.